What is going on guys and we are back outside again i know i ain't been on this camera in a good little minute guys just been recovering man just been recuperating man i just got really sick out of nowhere it wasn't covid i took a covid test unless that covid test wasn't you know too correct but i got sick real bad out of nowhere guys um sore throat energy just low boy oh boy i tell you i even had to go to the the, 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 the doctors to see what was going on with me. I thought I was almost out of here, but um, just a cold, um, bad cold at that. But um, I'm back. I'm back. I'm, I'm, I feel as though I'm 80% energized, man. But uh, let's get straight into it, guys. Um, from the thumbnail, I know you guys waiting to hear about the lift and the um, the DoorDash deactivation. Sorry, guys. I'm at Walmart. Just left Walmart too. Um. So I got deactivated off of Lyft and DoorDash, people. Um, July 5th with Lyft, uh, false claim. You know, customer tried to get a, a free ride. I uh, had a bunch of red flags on that on that ride. I even reported that customer at the end of that ride. It was just a bunch of red flags and I wanted to disconnect from that customer. Um, so this is partly my fault for just not canceling the ride, guys. Um, it's really not my fault, but I should have just listened to my instincts. Um, went to the, I'm telling y'all the story. Went to the customer pinpoint, which was at Capitol Heights Station. Um, person wasn't there. Three minutes to win up. Four minutes. Person wasn't there. I get a phone call. Take this. It was a girl picture on the profile, but it was a dude that you know on the phone. Now I'm like it's 2023. <laughs> Maybe this girl, this woman, has a man voice. We'll leave that at that. I don't want to get canceled on YouTube. Um, so he was like, "Hey, you see my girlfriend over there?" I was like, "Nah, I don't. I don't see her, bud." I'm like, uh, "She's not out here." So he said, "Hold on, please don't cancel. Let me call. Let me uh, call to see where she at." So I didn't cancel. I'm on a three trip street, guys. Eighteen dollars. I'm on my last streak. I mean, I'm on my last trip, guys. So I was like, you know, let me go ahead and do this. Is she only going around the corner? <clears throat> she was only going around the corner. And um, yeah, I'm ready to go home. It's 10, it's 10 30 p.m. at night. I'm ready to go home. Um, so he called back, said, hey, she hit the basketball court. Can you do me that favor and, you know, go to the basketball court? So I already knew where the basketball court was at. You know, they had a, was having an event over there. I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Going above and beyond. And I also was chasing that $18 surge. Let's just say that. I mean, that $18 streak and ready to go home. Two times already I should have canceled. Um, get there to the spot. She still ain't dead. He's like, hold on. I think her phone was dead. Let me call her father phone. So now I'm like, okay, what is this? Some type of setup stuff? I'm almost about to cancel right there. He calls back. She on the other line saying like little smart stuff. He was like, hold on, hold on. Go to the driver on the phone. You know, like I don't see the driver, but I see her talking. She had a pink shirt on and she was, you know, talking trash. I don't see the driver. I'm right in front. I'm like right here. She's right in front of me. So I said, hey, she right in front of me, right here. Then she, you know, she looked at me, had an attitude like this. I'm like, shit, I should go ahead and cancel again. I'm just keeping my brain. I need to cancel, I need to cancel. Not following my instincts. She get in the car, I say, hey, how you doing? She ain't say nothing. I ain't back. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm not all the way back yet, but um, so I said, all right, back, whatever. I ain't say that to her, but in my head, I'm like, all right, whatever. I didn't have my drive cam in here either, guys, because I was swapping everything over to the Crown Vic so I could do the video in the Crown Vic. Uh, pretty though, that was my plan that week. But um, <laughs> drop her off. I dropped her off. She was in the car no no more than four minutes. She was going right around the corner. I said, "Hey, you have a good night." Didn't say nothing else. Closed the door. I'm driving home. Four minutes. She, she just got out the car four minutes ago. Driving home, get an email from Lyft. Your account is uh, temporarily disabled or deactivated. I'm not. I'm not. I'm like I know this. And even before I got this uh, this uh, deactivation from Lyft, I 
uh, gave her two stars. Rude customer. Boom, 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 boom. They got that in their system. Um, they didn't. They didn't acknowledge that though. They didn't acknowledge that though. I'm texting them like, "Hey, didn't y'all just see me? You know, get his customer two stars. Why y'all not acknowledging the fact that you know on my safety, my issue? They was like, "Oh, we don't know what customer. That's the customer that I'm telling y'all about. It was no other customer that reported that. I had all nice people in the car. It was this customer because let me tell you why it was this customer because her trip went from three dollars and seventy five cent all the way to eight dollars because that's how long I was waiting for them to get in the car. The time was adding up on them. Oh, they we got to take this to our safety team. Blah 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 blah. Make a long story short. It's already a long story. Um, I get an email from Lyft about eight days ago saying I'm permanently deactivated off the service because of alleged um, mis misbehavior or something like that. Something like that they were in. Right screenshot should be up. <clears throat> so, you know, I sent them a long message. You know, y'all not for the drivers. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just not stressing it. I'm really not stressing it, guys. Because I was like, okay, I'm about, I was swapping over to the Crown Vic anyway. I was about to get rid of the Rav, and we got DoorDash, <laughs> we got DoorDash and Power and um, Spark. I'm gonna get to learn Spark over again. <clears throat> we did one day in the Crown Vic, guys. We made pretty good money. We made two hundred and sixty dollars, right, in the Crown Vic. The Crown Vic was hot that day. Ninety-eight degrees. The Crown Vic ate gas. That car ate some, that, man, listen, that car killed me on the gas, guys. It was hot. I was like, I maybe need a tune-up. So I was like, oh, man. So I was like, okay, let me think about giving up this RAV right quick. Because if this car is draining gas like this, and I know Crown Vicks are not fuel efficient, but the way my car was draining the gas, that was unusual. It was maybe because it was like super hot outside, whatever. So, next day, about to turn on DoorDash. Deactivate. What the heck? So, deactivate on DoorDash. I got an email from them last week saying something was on my driver record. Nothing's on my driver record, guys. Let me tell y'all why nothing on my driver record. Because after the lift deactivation and I started to see people on YouTube saying they got deactivated. And today, today is July, July 25th. Uh, oh, I hope I'm saying his name right. VIP Rideshare or Rideshare VIP. Sorry if I messed up your name. I'm going to add you in this videos up there. He got deactivated today, I guess. I was just looking at the video on lift. But, but even before that, I was seeing people get deactivated, deactivated. My boy, my man, my good guy, Billy, way more trips than me, 5.0 driver, customer tried to get a free ride, well, got a free ride off of him, off the expense of saying that he was driving drunk. Come on now. You know, people out here trying to make some extra money, feed their family, you know, lift is yeah lift lift prices is trash it's garbage don't don't get me wrong <coughs> sorry guys i'm for the coughing and stuff lift is trash right now with the prices and stuff i don't even know where i'm going i don't even know just the right way um i'm doing a spark trip right now too but very 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 trash um I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. I want to show y'all this. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going at, people. I don't want to cut across this grass, but this is what it's looking like I'm about to have to do. Because I'm looking for 208. These houses are crazy. I don't even know if that's 208 over there. Give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back, and that's dropped off. Man, that's them setups on them houses was crazy. I had to go all the way on the other side to get to his driveway. A lot of land. But uh get back to what I was saying is um we gotta leave off. I think I was telling y'all why the reason how I know I have nothing on my drive record. Well, I checked with Trek Checker, they said I had a withdrawal of a ticket. 
from 2017 and just withdraw, you know, it, that means I'm not guilty, you know. Um, but I was saying, you know, like people and stuff get deactivated. Uh, super slow outside. This must, this got to be the worst summer ever. I'm not going to even lie to you guys uh, with uh, the gig economy stuff. Um, like I said, last couple of videos, it's been 2023 been a little weird. Um, I start to, you know, fill on my pocket, man. Got something in my pocket. Like collecting dust. Had a had a had to blow it off. <laughs> you know, I had to I had to let me let me let me try to cover it up. Had to blow had to blow the L's off, man. Had to blow the CDL off, man. I say I need to find me something real quick. I was about to go back to my temp company for a second because I just need something to September. Um, so, went, you know, I went job hunting, went job hunting, reactivated, cleaned up my Indeed, turned back on my Indeed, you know, um, put in a couple of apps, went on a couple of interviews last week. I think I went on four interviews last week. Um, <laughs> I denied... No, I went on five interviews last week. I denied two. Two denied me, basically. So I denied two. The first two I went to, they denied me because they said I was overqualified. Uh, I think they know what time I was on because, you know, they was like, hold on, why is he looking at these type of jobs? They was paying, but, you know, they was looking, like, for somebody long-term and stuff. So they was, And then they said I was overqualified, overqualified also. Um, I was like, overqualified. Oh, like, yeah, we don't drive CDL vehicles. I was like, well, you know, you guys drive trucks and y'all in the range that I want for the money, you know, just in, in the schedule. It was like some uh, Tuesday to Friday stuff, right? Uh, so anyway, those two jobs told me I was overqualified. Then I had two other jobs <laughs> that I denied because they, you know, they wanted me to come in as a swing driver. Then Friday, my eyes lit up, man. And um, I hope this guy calls me back. I hope this guy calls me back because this is the job that I really want. Three days, Sunday night, Tuesday night, and Thursday night. That route's supposed to take 12 hours, but what I was looking at, finishing nine, 10 hours. Um, the reason why he said it take 12 hours is uh, it's a night route, and you know, drivers will take an hour break. Excuse me. <coughs> Can't wait till that cough gone. Uh, we'll take an hour break, take a nap, you know, whatever. Um, when I used to run for Jiva overnight, um, I used to just run straight through. My body got used to it. So, <coughs> flat rate of $900 for three days. Flat rate. I want that. But, technically speaking, right now, <laughs> I am hired for a job right now. I can't tell y'all the company name, but it is Monday through Friday, and the routes can be finished in five hours, and you still get paid for your eight. So, uh, that was second on my list. You also driving a, a CDL vehicle. Um, Dr. Doc, just an uh, electric power, pilot jack. Uh, some, some I might have to take it off the truck. But, uh, you know, I used to do that with Coca-Cola and stuff. So, you know, that's right down my alley. And it'll help me lose some weight, too, guys. Because I'm getting outrageously heavy. Uh, just got a fresh DOT today. Fresh DOT. Because um, that job wanted me to get a fresh DOT. No high blood pressure. No no sugar in the no sugar in the pee or nothing of the sort. No diabetes. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. So, um yeah so if this guy don't call me by thursday friday thursday the one that i really want <clears throat> um well excuse me that's uh wednesday he got to friday basically because friday i'm already gonna be setting my head all right after this weekend i'm clocking in <laughs> i'm clocking in and uh it's out in Lord it's out lorton too it's out lorton it's out nova way uh well nova live in fairfax so it was uh um, it's out. Speaking of the devil, he texted me now. <laughs> but um, it's out his it's out his way. So I will be in Virginia. 
Uh, the sweet thing is I can do gig economy after work, but I will be cutting down the gig economy after work because I do not want my uh, days consist of working and I probably will be uh, not driving on Saturdays or Sundays. Might do a Saturday morning, uh, but you know, that's gonna be chill days and I got a couple of cars to do that I've been pushing off. Um, you know, if you guys don't know, I do liquid wraps. So uh, I've been pushing off, but uh, uh, August 5th starts, you know, me redoing the cars and stuff too. I just been super sick, guys. I, I couldn't be around the fumes and nothing. I, I could I could last week I couldn't even hardly talk without coughing. That's how badly I'm sick. So um, I don't want you guys to think that the W two and I'm I'm sitting there. Um, sometimes you got to use your other skill, and my other skill is driving trucks. Uh, I've got a CDL A class seven years. That's my other skill. Um, I'm not confident in Empower Spark or Instacart. Now you make some good money off of power in the morning, but I'm not confident that that could take me to where I need to be at. So I'm confident in having a base amount of money, which is the W-2, and adding on to that with Empower uh, and Spark. Instacart, really not a fan of. We made a couple of 20s last week with Instacart, but it's gonna be Empower and Spark, guys. I got my Spark Flow black back know the drop times um me missing doordash I, I feel as though i can squeeze a doordash trip in while waiting to that uh that 845 that 145 mark because they'll they don't let you start the trip to the you know 45 45 minute mark which is nuts unless it's an asap delivery um but yeah man i, I do got my flow back on spark and uh, Spark got Instapate now with that uh, one card, so it basically go on your car after every trip, like Dash of the Wreck, except for your tips. Your tips usually go on there the next day, so we've been making pretty good money with Spark. Uh, I think last week we did like nine hundred, a thousand dollars, nine to a thousand dollars with Spark, Instacart, and um, uh, Empower guys. So, but that's not good. That's not good in my book, guys. I feel like to make to make that for me making that nine to a thousand dollars felt like i was out there a little too long guys and for all that i wake up at six o'clock and stop working at two anyway why not go ahead and get me a w2 for a good little while well not even a good little while I, i'm not gonna really say the dates because i might say the company name later on down the line it's like oh he's not staying here too long but um you know, cool people in there, cool people. And what I tell my CDL people is, if you want to know if that's a good job or not, before you go in that warehouse, stand in the middle of the parking lot, put your hands on your hips, look around, and look at their cars. One thing about CDL holders, they will have some nice ass cars out there, guys. And just by them cars, you could tell that they getting money. If they coming in with a lunch box and a smile on their face, you know, if you see people moping in, coming in, moping in, like the Amazon warehouse and stuff, then you know that ain't for you. But if you come see somebody coming from out the parking lot, walking in there with their lunch box, smile on their face, then yeah, that's a good atmosphere of people, women, uh, men, uh, or you know, whatever you identify as, that's a good atmosphere in there. Um, Coca-Cola was like that when I used to work at Coca-Cola. I, I didn't I didn't regret working at Coca-Cola when I was W-2. Didn't regret it at all because the people that I would come be around, it was it was just good energy. You know, it was good energy. Yes, it was hard work, but the people, the stores, the I had a couple of dickhead stores, but the you know 90% 90 90 of my stores was like good energy, man. Good, hey, Ty, you want something to eat? Boom, 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 boom. Good energy, man. Good energy. So um, that was one of the factors, too. I did have a couple of more jobs reach out to me. Premium distribution reached out to me. That's a $90,000 job a year. I do not feel comfortable taking that job because somebody that... I don't want to sound... It's not. It's not it don't sound stupid because that's a damn good job. If I if I wanted to stay in the W two Ram, 
I would have took that premium distribution. It's a liquor company. It's hard work. But ninety thousand dollars again? Come on now, you got you got to suck it up. Um, uh, Monday through Friday, long hours, but you gonna get paid. It's gonna be worth it. Um, they reached out to me, but I don't feel comfortable, you know, going through the training and knowing that it's a good possibility I'll be there for four months. You know, like you know. So I was really looking for jobs that I could like fill in uh, that really needed drivers right there to then. Um, this job right here, I'm going to be a boat driver and this is their only boat truck they got on there. So they really need a driver. And, um, he interviewed cause on Indeed, you can see how many people that they interviewed, how many people filled out for that position. And it was like 75 people, um, not being cocky or nothing, but I was just like talking to my mom on the phone when I interview and my, uh, resume it's it's crazy man it's crazy it's it's crazy man um and a lot of people uh get intimidated by my resume like oh he ain't staying for too long and stuff that's why i got uh denied by those first two jobs they said i was overqualified and look bro i'm just over you talking about is your cdl today is my cdl suspended and all that like nah, i'm just looking for some work right quick <laughs> you know and they ain't looking for looking for work right quick which is understandable so um yeah, I'm, I know I'm wrapping y'all heads off, but you know, I just wanted, ain't been on here too long, and I just wanted to talk to y'all, tell y'all what's going on. Um, I will leave off with this, people. If you got one or two apps that you're counting on, guys, stack up as many apps as possible, guys. If your market's still booming with apps, by all means, if you don't have no high overhead, if you making good money with, you got a used car, used fuel efficient car, by all means, get out there and go crank. Um, I got a cheat code, and I feel as though it makes more sense for me to hop on the W-2 right quick and then come right back around November when Black Friday come with a cargo van that's paid off, not, not finance. I'm not doing no financing. So everything I'm making for this from this company right now, it's going to be half of them checks going into that savings. So by October, November, yeah, we, we, we back in the cargo van. We back, we go lay back in another cargo van. And um, I do want to put it on my shorts of the old two cargo vans I had. And um, I learned a lot from them guys. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, those were strictly, I had a strictly auto parts contract. And when COVID hit guys, Pet Boys closed down. So them contracts was gone. So it was scrambling and you know, this is before the medical supplies got hot. So medical supplies wasn't out. So I was like to sell one of those vans and you know, um, my father still got his uh, van. You know, I told him about this batch of stuff. I could, you know, I could easily uh, get his van cause he ain't using it right now. But my thing is right now, just brush off my CDL, make the bread that I need to make with the with the CDL, still go out here, you know, maybe make a hundred here and there. I won't be working gig economy every day, guys. I'm just not, uh, I'm not a monster like, I, well, I don't think Nova work every day gig economy. I think he take like Sundays off, I think. But Nova's a different animal, guys. Uh, if you don't know Nova is, go watch the channel, different animal. But, um, <coughs> my goal for, my goal, is to get this cough away. But my goal for, you know, these upcoming weeks is just to make like, it went from 1400 from gig economy to like, it's gonna be like three, $400 a week extra. And we, we throwing that in the, we throwing that in the savings guys, cause we coming back, coming back stronger than ever, man. I got the knowledge. I just need to get the money back up. And a big decision from this is I was starting to dig in reserves this month also. I was super sick, so I missed a couple of days. But the days that I got back out here, it was hard to make $150, people. <sighs> yeah, and I'm in this rental. This rental is going bye-bye Monday. I got a car to get to work. We go to work. <laughs> we go to work, and then we gonna go ahead and uh, sit at uh, a Walmart in Virginia somewhere. After we get off work, to work that for about three hours, I'm going in the house chilling, you know, so... I got a mental game plan. Oh, the job is out, Virginia, guys. 
It's all for Jay. Y'all, y'all probably know about it next week. But um, if that other job don't call me first, that three to eight nine hundred dollar flat rate don't call me first. But that's why I want to leave you guys off with, guys. Just make sure you have something else in your back pocket, man. Something else in your back pocket that you could do that, you know, if you go out here and try to, you know, hurry up and flip money. And these apps, the way that they move right now, have something else. Just have something else in your back pocket, man. I, I always knew that it could be a high percent chance because Uber already got me like that. So I already knew it was a high percent chance that Lyft got me right there. And it was the perfect day to get me like that when I ain't had my drive cam up there. So lucky for me, I got a banging resume. I got Indeed and I got the highest CDL. My CDL is loaded, guys. Not, not bragging. My CDL is loaded with endorsements. I, I'm not worried about finding a W-2 job. I could have been at a, a banging beer company. Could have been back at Coca-Cola. My goal is, guys, to to just 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 be set, you know, just to build a nice little fleet and be set, guys. Just be set, man. So, thank y'all for watching. Any questions, comments, concerns? Comment below, man. If you guys want to learn how to get a CDO, hear some CDO information too, need help? Let me know in the comments below. Till next time. I do.